So I just ordered a box of dates because it's date season. And uh, normally I order them from Seven Hot Dates. Um, I also have ordered from Mecca Date Farm and uh, Shields Date Garden in the past, but I decided to try a, uh, a newcomer to the market this year, which is a Phoenix, Arizona mail order dates. I put the link below. All right, so I ordered five pounds. It was around the same price as the other suppliers. Um, the reason to order mail order dates rather than buying them from a wholesaler or a grocery store is they're extremely moist and, and gooey when they come right from the farm. So let's take a look at these ones so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. Yeah, check that out. So these are really, really, really good dates. I had a couple uh, little boxes of them yesterday. Um, so I'm going to have a mono meal of dates for breakfast this morning. Um, I tend to do that during date season. I don't usually use dates in smoothies a lot because I don't make smoothies a lot. I don't really eat them as snacks that much, but in date season I get the gooey fresh ones and I eat them as a mono meal. So it's pretty cool. Very gooey dates. Packaged pretty well. These haven't dried out. They came to me extremely moist. I haven't found a single one so far that has bugs in it or that has mold in it. And I have gotten that from all the other date suppliers. So I would highly recommend checking out uh, Phoenix, Arizona mail order dates. Another uh, interesting thing is they, they accept alternate payment methods, right? So if you're interested in fighting against the banking system and the Fed, right, you don't you, you have the normal options like PayPal, uh, check in the mail, cash in the mail, but you can also pay via Bitcoin, which is an alternative peer-to-peer -peer, uh, decentralized cryptocurrency. So I sent the amount that these were, it was like 37 35 except in Bitcoin, so it was like point zero something Bitcoins. So I sent it to uh, their Bitcoin address. It arrived in their address immediately, and they were able to ship the dates, and, and big evil PayPal company didn't make mo any money off of that transaction, and neither did the credit card companies. Um, and you may, you may not realize this, but credit card companies actually, um, they actually don't let entire countries use their service. Um, there are entire countries that you can't order something with your Visa or your MasterCard from that country. Um, for various reasons, sometimes they just don't like that country, sometimes the government says you can't do that because there's terrorists in this country, you know. But it really hurts a lot of people, so every time you use your credit card or, or PayPal or companies that do that, companies that discriminate against entire regions of people, you're kind of contributing to that. So I would suggest, you know, ordering some dates with Bitcoin. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good way to fight, to fight back, right? See, is there anything else I want to say about these dates? Someone I know will really like these dates. You don't want it? Oh yeah. Yeah, you like dates, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you love dates. You like that sugar, don't you? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna eat the whole thing. Oh, now he wants to go back. He's 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 a little camera shy.